YouTube, this is Armic and Mike, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Minecraft server on a Mac. What is up? Yeah, smexiness. Awesome. Cool. Z, my monkey's awesome. And Armic and Mike, because they're the same pe person. So what you do is open up your applications where you installed Minecraft, and I put it in a folder, because I'm super awesome, and I really recommend you do that too. So once you open up that folder, I have the Minecraft right there, and I also have a folder for a Minecraft server. All that's in there is the jar which you get from minecraft.net minecraft.net and server exe and make sure like I did I put it in a folder because when you run it it's gonna create a bunch of files told you so while that's creating a world you will be needing to get a program called Hamachi and let's just use it over here Hamachi there we go. Download and install. It is safe and everything. There's a little HTTPS proving that it's safe. Download now. I already installed it. There for Windows version. I don't really care. So, um, like I said, once it's done, right stop, enter. And that means it created a ton of stuff. So if you want to edit your stuff, right there it says server properties. Right click, open with, other, look for one that says text edit click it always open with open all that will pop up so while you have that open and you have a Hamachi installed go to your Hamachi folder log me in Hamachi and I already joined myself to join a server all you do is create or join create Z mad monkey Mac just for now see that's how you create, and I'm actually going to delete this one real quick, leave network. To so join, here's another one. This is for my PC version. Join. Very simple. And also, that is your IP. If you are joining someone server, that is, that's yours, okay? If you want to see what their IP is, you double click what's under their name, and theirs is right there, okay? But that is not important right now. So all you do is close term. I don't care. Sorry about that, right there. Excuse me. Camera not needs your attention. I'm kidding, whatever. Okay, so I like to use my own worlds from single player, so I like to change the name. Allow flight. It's all up to you. And lower this if you want to get rid of lag, change it to 5. That is just view distance, don't raise it too high or it won't work, don't put it too low or you very little see a thing. I keep it at 10. Then save, okay? There we go. So once that is saved, and you can you can rename this or just it doesn't really matter. That has to be exactly the same what you wrote in here. Text edit. Yay! See it has to be level name. Exactly the same as that. Now, if you want to use a real world, the one that you created from your Minecraft single player, all you do is open up a new one, go to your under desktop, little house thing above applications, you should find something called library. Go to application support, find Minecraft. Right there, amazing folder, awesome. If you're going to be doing modding, there's your Minecraft.jar, and I'll just make another video about that for PC and Mac, basically the same thing on both. I'll just do it on one. Now there are your saves. I have not created a save yet, but you know what? I'll just do one right now, just to show you that it works. So open up Minecraft. Minimize. Logging in my friend's account for video purposes. Okay, going to single player. Create new world. I'm going to name it Earth Mac. And sure, why not? I don't really care. Right now, I do not have mods on. Mac version, I probably will be getting them later, just not right now because I'm too bored. So just generating level, um, I spawned on a tree. My face. Okay, so there's a pig looking at me. Hi pig, you're a great person. You've been my best friend ever. Don't walk away on me! Get back over here! I want your pork chops! I'll, eat, I'll get them later. Okay, so yeah, see? Okay, world. You know what? I'm just gonna. Next to this now, I'm gonna create a ditch. 
right there. A tiny little hole. Just so there. Look, it doesn't look normal. So you know that this is my real world. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to X off that. Open up where the saves were. That's the server, not the saves. The real Minecraft server. I open this up. There's Earth Mac. And to copy it, all you do is copy all the insides. Command C. Go into Earth. Paste everything here. That's if you do not want the one in your servers. You want the one in your server, just back that up. I don't really care. And click replace. Apply to all. Replace. So once you create, um, run your Minecraft server, X off this, X off that too. Preparing spawn area. Blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. So actually, I'm gonna close this. It's pointless. And we need that. We need that. We do not need you. So loading Minecraft. Allow. Okay. If you're hosting or joining, it's the same process. All you do is add server, create a name, and type in your server IP. If you're joining, all you do is go to the person you're joining, double click, and there's their IP. Now, if you are hosting, there's your IP, and it has to be the same that was in the text edit server properties, which I showed you. And I already created it. You just type in the server IP, and it'll pop up like that. Make sure you're running your server while all the time and run it. So we saw that we spawned on a tree. And nearby there was a weird block. There it is. Ta-da. So I hope this all works for you. Please comment, subscribe, like, favorite. It really helps a lot. So thank you very much. Have a great day.